Hello dear friends, myself Dr. Shrikant Varma, MBBS MD Anatomy, Director Simple Medical Academy. So in the previous videos, we have already seen in the very slow manner, in a very detailed manner that how we have to study the neuroanatomy in a magical way, in a creative way. Okay, so that we can simplify the neuroanatomy for every time. We are making simple. In the detail, we will deal in our live classes or in further videos. So yes, we are dealing with the spinal cord. We have to cut the spinal cord. Then we are looking that spinal cord is made up of the gray matter and the white matter. Yes, the gray matter is butterfly shape and the white matter is having the traps. So we have to study this all in detail. After this spinal cord, we will move further. Then we will look. Yes, there is the brain stem. And the brain stem is having medulla, pons and the midbrain. Why sir, why you are going from down to above? Because the brain is the most complex part. So we will read the brain at the last. First we are starting the lower part. So in this way we can keep the neural anatomy story within our mind in a creative style. Yes, first we are reading the spinal cord, then we will read the brain stem. In the brain stem, first we will cut the medulla. So in the previous videos we have already seen, we have to cut the medulla in the three ways. Lower part, then middle part, then upper part. Because at the lower part, there is a crossing of the motor tract. That's why in our books, it is it has been written that lower part of the medulla is also known as transverse section of the medulla at the motor decussation. Crossing is decussation and the motor tract is crossing. That's why this lower part of the medulla is known as the motor decussation level. Why in the middle part, there is a crossing of the sensory tract, fasciculus gracilis and the fasciculus cuneatus. At the middle part, there is a crossing of the sensory tract. That's why this middle part is known as sensory decussation. Why at the upper part? I have already shown you the demo. Yes, in this way, suppose this is the medulla. So this lower part, this lower part is closed. Why this upper part? This upper part is open. And this posterior V-shaped depression of the medulla is known as the floor of the fourth ventricle. I told you already. Yes, can you see? This became open. Here it is the close at the lower part, but at the upper part it is open. It is open on the portion side. That's why the upper part of the medulla is known as open part, while the lower part of the medulla is known as closed part. So, yes, in our books it has been written the upper part of the medulla is known as open part of the medulla. Then we have to study about the pons. We have to cut the pons for the two times lower part of the pons and upper part of the pons. Yes, when we cut the lower part of the pons, we see that facial nerve emerges from here and due to the position of the facial nerve fibers, there is the one elevation is produced on the posterior part of the pons. This elevation is known as facial auriculus. Why? This upper part of the pons is having very spatial nucleus of the trisemal nerve, which is the main sensory nucleus. That's why it is also the chief sensory nucleus of the principal sensory nucleus. So this upper part of the pons is also known as chief sensory nucleus of the trisemal nerve. After that, we are cutting the midbrain. In the midbrain, on the posterior side, there are the four structures, four elevation. These are the four, that's why these are known as the quadra, couple, that's why zemina. And they are making, they are forming one body, that's why these structures are known as corpora quadra zemina. Yes, they are consisting of the upper two elevation. This upper two elevation are known as superior elevation, that's why colliculus. While this inferior two elevation, they are known as the inferior elevation, that's why colliculus. Means corpora quadra zemina is equal to two superior colliculus, two inferior colliculus. So yes, when we are cutting the lower part, so this lower part of the midbrain is characteristically known as the transverse section of the midbrain at the level of inferior colliculus. And this upper part is known as transverse section of the midbrain at the level of superior polyculus. And after that, we are cutting the most developed part of the human brain, that is the, yes, human body, that is the brain. So yes, we are cutting the brain, then we are looking that outer part, it is having the cell body, and cell body appears grayish in color, that's why this outer part of the brain is known as a gray matter. And Broadman is studied in detail about this gray matter. That's why these are known as the Broadman area, cortical area or functional area of the brain. And after that, just below to it, there is the exons of the fibers, neurons, which is covered by the, which are covered by the myelin sheath, phospholipid and lipid appears so whitish in color. That's why this part is known as the white matter, which is divided into the ACP. Yes, or you can remember by the trick CAP, CAP, okay, yes. 
C for commissural fiber, A for association fiber, P for projection fiber. We will see in detail this all later, but yes, why matter? We have to study under the three headings. Then at the last part of the brain section, we have seen that there are the few mass of the gray matter which are situated in the base of the brain, around the brain stem, at the base of the brain, that's why these are known as the base cell. Because these are again the collection of the cell body, collection of the gray matter. That's why these are known as nuclei, as the definition of the nucleus is already that the cell body collection within the CNS is known as nuclei. That's why these are known as the basal nuclei because situated at the base of the brain and yes, they are within the CNS, gray matter mass, that's why nuclei. If it lies outside the brain or the spinal cord, then these gray matter collection are known as the ganglion. What is the ganglion? The collection of the gray matter, collection of the cell body outside the CNS is known as the ganglion. So remember basal nuclei is the correct term while the basal ganglion is misnomer. So yes, this is the simplest way how we have to study from down to above. Various standard books, they will study, they create the concept from above to down, that is also correct. But if we want an easier way, then it is better to go from down to upside. So yes, this is all about the basics of the neuroanatomy. In detail, we will do it later and if you are liking subscribe if you are liking this video then kindly subscribe share more and more these all the videos and thank you to all of the people or uh, to you all the people who are giving me response who are giving the comments and yes your comments are motivating me so that i can do more and more for you thank you very much Subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for notification on our simplified medical and motivational videos.